I am done watching you fuck up your life. I am done watching you be small. I can't do it anymore. So we're talking about where you're toxic and where it fucking comes from and how to heal it. Sit down and listen up. Recovering toxic. Let's go. Welcome back. My name is Dime. Let's talk about recovering toxic. Today, specifically, we're talking about self-worth. Oh, no. I'm not worthy. I can't. I am going to be a little bit triggering with this. And I'm going to talk to you the way I talked to my 20-year-old self. Uh, Ready? Okay. If I trigger you, I'm going to trigger you. If I trigger you, I want you to go take a look at the mirror and be like, okay, thank you. Uh, And you're going to do the work. I understand the concept of lack of self-worth. That was a story I told myself my entire fucking life. I was like, all right, I don't have any self-worth. This is why I'm creating this. I don't believe in myself, blah, 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 blah. Here's what I'm going to tell you after working with thousands and thousands and thousands of people across our planet. Never once have I worked with someone and been like, oh, you have self-worth issues. Never once. You ready to be triggered? So I want you to take a deep breath with this one. Okay. I need to take a really deep breath with this. Here we go. You do not have self-worth issues. You have two things going on. And the first thing you have going on is you have no fucking courage. Ouch. You have no fucking courage to be brave enough to put your authenticity in the world. You have no fucking courage to say, I'm going for it. You have no fucking courage to say, social anxiety, I'm going to do it anyways. You have no fucking courage. That's what's lacking. It is not self-worth. The second piece, you pissed off? I hope so, because I want you to go look in the mirror and I want you to get pissed off because when you're pissed off, you actually are the vibration of change. When you are angry, you are very aware of what you will no longer tolerate and you fucking change your life. So you don't have self-worth or issues. You have a lack of courage. The second thing you have is you are listening to the story that you have been told about yourself. So I want you to look at it like this. If you're watching this podcast, I promise you, you're a game changer. You're here to heal all the generations. You're here to say, I will no longer continue the story of my ancestors. I will no longer own the story of my ancestors. Because the only reason that you think you have self-worth issues is because that's what mommy and daddy or your caregiver told you. That's what they demonstrated towards you. That's what they did to themselves. They didn't believe in themselves because if you had parents who believed in themselves and were self-inspired and self-aware to do the fucking work, you would have followed that example. You would have been like, this is how we function in the world, but you didn't. You had parents who took the story of what their parents told them or your caregivers. You had caregivers that said, uh, I'm a piece of shit. I don't have worth. I can't possibly ask for my needs to be met. I have to be toxic in the way I communicate. I have to be toxic with my vulnerability. I have to slam the cupboards or I have to be avoided or I have to do all these things in order to navigate this world. You didn't have the example of two people who came together or a single parent who came forward and said, this is what's going on with me. This is what it's making me feel. Help me understand your viewpoint. Let's communicate and solution this together. Instead, you had the opposite. And so you watch the example and they watch the example and they watch the example and it goes down the generations. So every single human in your lineage, very likely, because it's only 2024 and we're pretty fucked up as a human species. Let's be really real. Like we're not great at communicating. When we communicate, we over communicate like I used to. We'll talk about that another day. Oh my God, it's so gross. (laughs) It's so gross. Oh, I feel so bad for every problem I've ever had in the past because I was like, "Ah." anyway, you've had caregivers demonstrate to you their lack of perceived self-worth. And the only thing that the lack of self-worth is, is the perception of don't communicate, don't ask for your needs, don't be brave, don't be courageous. That's all it is, baby. That's all it is. So what do we do? Well, we're going to figure out what the story is. So where's the biggest lack in your life or the biggest anxiety point or the biggest depression point? What are you so hurt about? 
you're alone and you don't know yourself. I felt alone to the point of wanting to not be on earth. And I tried to leave earth. I took it upon my own hands. Like somehow I was fucking God and I was going to be like, all right, your time is over. Let's go. And I tried three times. Obviously it didn't work. I know the pain point. I know anxiety. I know social anxiety. I, I've been there. I own all the t-shirts. I've been there, got the t-shirt, came back and was like, mm, that was the destination. But I know better now. And I promise you, you already know you're worthy. You do not have self-worth issues. If you believe that you are in a situation, I'm going to give you, I can't give you a specific, but let's talk about this. Here you are. And you're like, this person isn't treating me right. Oh my gosh, I can't set a boundary. I can't ask for my needs to be met. I don't know what to do. I'll keep tolerating it. But I understand that I'm uncomfortable. I understand it doesn't feel good. I understand that it's this. I understand how painful it is. Then what you actually understand is that you are worthy of not feeling that. Because if you didn't believe, if you thought all the shit that you were handling and that you couldn't set boundaries, if you were just like, oh, it's normal, everything's fine, you wouldn't consider if you had self-worth issues. If you're asking if I have self-worth issues, it's because you are identifying that something in your life is not working for you. You are identifying that something in your life does not feel good, which means you are identifying that you actually desire for it to be different, which actually means you know you're worthy of different. So you know you're worthy. You do not have self-worth issues, my love. You don't. We're going to label it that way because that's what society tells us to do. It's so hard. Society teaches, I'm going to be such an asshole right now. Hold on. Society teaches us, oh my God, be a victim. Society teaches us that these standards are like, we can't possibly reach these standards and they want us to stay small. It's going to change in time, but it hasn't yet. And it's fucked up. But here's all the standards of what you should be. And then we've got the lineage story. We've got what mom and dad or caregivers or dad, dad, mom, mom, whoever the fuck raised you. You've got all of that, all of their bullshit of themselves. I'm not this, I'm not that. So I'm going to project it and I'm going to be this. And you're holding on to their story and you're holding on how they treated you because that's how they're caregivers did it. And that's how their caregivers did it. And it's this endless stream. You are here. If you're watching this and you're still here and you're not bawling your eyes out or you're not hating my fucking face right now, you're here because you're the game changer. You're the one who came in and said, I'm going to learn the story so well. I'm going to be witness to it. I'm going to experience it. I'm going to get anxious. I'm going to get depressed. I'm going to contemplate all the reasons why I should or should not be here. I'm going to question my worth. I'm going to question my confidence. I'm going to question my body, my intelligence, all of it because you had to learn it. You had to understand what humanity is so fucked up about so that you could be the one to change the game. So hi, game changer. You do not have self-worth issues. You have an inability, an incapability to understand how to change the game. That's it. And then probably lack courage. It takes a lot of fucking courage to say no. Oh my God. It takes so much courage to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to love you anyway. It takes so much courage to present yourself to the world in how you desire to present yourself into the world. And it takes even more courage to discover how you want to present yourself to the world because you're so conditioned by society who says, oh, be small. You're so conditioned by society that says, keep your depression to yourself. You're so conditioned by society that says everybody has anxiety. So what happens is we take all these stories and we normalize them. We're like, oh my God, yes, I have social anxiety. I was there. Oh my God, I was there. Okay. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. You don't understand. And then we move through recreating that. Whatever fucking story you are telling yourself right now, you are going to create more of, you are going to create evidence of believing that story. So if you keep saying, I have anxiety and you're so stressed out and the anxiety is so high, my experience with anxiety was so bad. I would vomit every morning before I had to leave the house. Most of the time I didn't leave the house. My anxiety was, I would be in a situation and I would go from, oh, so uncomfortable all the way within 30 seconds, 30 fucking seconds, maybe 30 seconds at maximum, I could go from, oh, if I do this, all of this could happen in my brain, my ego self, my human operating mechanism, your ego self, which is not a bad thing. We have to train it. 
but it would go from, oh my God, to planning a fucking funeral in like under 30 seconds. I would be in the imagination of being at the funeral of like, if this happened and this happened and oh my God, and then I'd be planning the funeral and I would start crying. And then now I know I'm like, stop, don't add to that. Your thoughts, your vibration, what you believe about yourself, the story you tell yourself, I don't have self-worth and it keeps surfacing over and over again. And so then I just keep getting it from other people because they don't know how to set boundaries and they don't know how to do this. You're going to get it over and over and over again, because that's the story you're telling. Therefore, that's what you're creating in your reality. That's how the law of attraction works. That's manifesting all the bullshit on TikTok, all the five steps to manifesting, be grateful, thankful, blessed is Horseshit. It doesn't work. It's a big fucking fat lie. Has your life changed by saying, I'm so grateful, thankful, blessed? Are you living your best damn life right now? Are you anxiety free? Are you a perfect human because you're grateful, thankful, blessed? No, you're lying. Are you looking at people online, on Instagram, on social media, on TikTok, on all the things and being like, oh, they're so spiritual? They can use their tarot cards so fast. And then they tell me a story and it speaks to me. No, that's all horseshit too. I'm going to be debunk that in another fucking episode. You are creating your fucking reality. No one is responsible for what fucking happens to you except for you based on how you think things are going to go. I know there's some really, really, really horrible shit. We're not talking about the big ass stuff. Okay, guys, we are not talking about the big ass bullshit. We're talking about your perception of you and how the world responds to you. I'm telling you, I was there. I was a, I thought it was a piece of shit. I got treated like a piece of shit. I got bullied. I got beaten up. I got rejected. I got made fun of. I endlessly, even when I was 25, an entire workplace that I worked at, this one fucking bitch. Oh yeah. My ego's okay to say that. Ready? Offered me a fucking sandwich that she made that I knew because I'm psychic. She had spit it in and everybody was like, oh yeah, you really want lunch, right? Time? And this girl at 20 fucking five, what the fuck is wrong with you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's how much I was bullied. And then I was pressured for an hour to eat the fucking sandwich. I was 25. This is a small example of how stupid and moronic the world is based on what you perceive. I know better now. Now. I'm such a fucking force. Step aside. Do not waste the oxygen in my space right now with your presence. Not fucking happening. And it's not because I didn't have self-worth. It's because I was telling the story over and over and over again of what a piece of shit I was. I was telling the story that everybody's going to hurt me the way my caregivers did. I was telling the story that everybody was going to judge me the way my caregivers did. I was telling the story that I was to this, to that, to that, not enough. It wasn't self-worth. It was a lack of fucking courage. And the moment I became brave enough to understand that I was worthy the way you're worthy and everybody else is, the game changed. Everything fucking changed. So if you want to sit here after this podcast and be like, but I don't have self-worth because this is what happened to me when I was a child, then go fuck yourself yourself because it's not on my watch. I love you way too much to listen to your pity party. Everything that you are experiencing by the story you were telling it and the repetition, whatever story you are devoted to will be your reality. This is how quantum entanglement and quantum physics works. This is what I teach over at diamondno.com for years. I fixed it. I fixed it for thousands and thousands of people. I've watched thousands of people redirect based on changing the story and healing the bullshit they've been telling themselves based on what their caregivers told them to believe. So you're going to change the story. So you're going to go to your journal, get your fucking pen out, ready? Go to your journal. You're going to write down, what do I believe about my body? What do I believe about money? What do I believe about sex? What do I believe about relationships? What do I believe about life? And then you're going to be like, do I want to believe that? And then guess what? You're going to be brave enough to rewrite it. What do you want to believe? Write the new story. If you don't, nothing's going to change and you're going to continue to feel small.
you're going to continue. You're going to create it over and over again. You're going to continue to have anxious thoughts. You're going to continue to experience depression. You're going to continue to experience being small. That's on you. That's fucking on you. You have an opportunity right here, right now to change the game. So go change it. Short and sweet. Get it fucking done. I love you enough to trigger you. All right. Next time we're talking about relationships. All these amazing comments in the comment section. So thank you. We're gathering them. I'm going to continue to pop up these videos for you. I'm not going to be nice because I don't care to. I want you to change your fucking life and someone needs to smack you upside the face. So my kind of motto is like, bend over, I'll kick you in the ass. So there you are. I just handed you your ass. Go do the work. Go do the work or never watch this series again. And you might hate me. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Because at some point, if you hate me and you've made it to here, it's going to circle back in. I promise you. It might be a year, it might be five years. But I promise you, it's going to click and you're going to be like, oh, maybe I should be courageous. So you might as well do it now. Catch you next time. Love you. For real, I do. <laughs>